Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I am going to be reviewing Makeup Revolution's Skin Silk Serum Foundation. If you are thinking about purchasing this product, watch to find out what you need to know before you buy. purchased this at Ulta and it cost $14. It comes in 20 different shades. I purchased the shade F8 and the way I found this shade was from Ulta's Find Your Shade. This is described for medium skin tones with a warm pink undertone. Now, I have never purchased a foundation in the medium shade range. I have always gotten light to medium, so I'm a little nervous this is going to be too dark for me. This is a lightweight, breathable foundation that glides on for an undetectable your skin but better feel. You can apply sparingly for subtle coverage or build for that second skin effect. It is housed in a luxe bottle with built-in pump for precision and greater control upon application. Here's the bottle. It looks very pretty. I love the packaging on this. It's not super heavy, but it is much heavier than other drugstore foundation packaging. Taking off the cap, there is a pump here. I'm gonna go ahead and pump some here onto my wrist. It feels very thin like skincare. It dries down pretty quickly. I do smell a light fragrance and it's not just that makeup smell, but nothing comes to mind in how I can compare that smell, but there is a fragrance for people who are concerned about that. The way I'm going to do this review is I am going to apply this foundation on half of the side of my face with my fingers, the other side with a brush. I decided to not go the makeup sponge route because this is a skin tint and it's supposed to be only light to medium coverage. I do have acne and acne scars that I need to cover up. I'm trying to get the most coverage that I can and I feel like a makeup sponge would just thin it out. I'm going to start applying to this left side of my face with my fingers. First time apply some makeup and then I will come back on and let you guys know what my initial thoughts on this foundation are. I put on the rest of my makeup. The only makeup I'm wearing is my brows are done. I have mascara on, a lip product, and then I did put some Honest Beauty cream blush on my cheeks and that is it. I have no powder and nothing else on my face besides that cream blush. I'm actually pleasantly surprised about this foundation. I didn't think I was going to like a lighter coverage foundation, but I actually do. It covered enough where it looks like I have some makeup on and even out my skin tone, but not making it look like I have a ton of foundation on. It's really skin-like. The shade is too dark for my skin, but because it is such a lighter coverage, it actually looks okay. It is very lightweight. It doesn't feel cakey. It is on the dewier side. So I'm hoping it doesn't get crazy oily by the end of the day. I'm hoping that because it's a much more lighter coverage, my oils won't peek through as much, but we'll see. But you can already see like the shine on my cheeks. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. I am actually liking it so far. I'll do my usual check-ins midday, about four to five hours, and then I'll do the end of the day check-in after wearing for eight hours. So I will see you guys later. I am oily in my usual spots in the T-zone area, but it's not that bad. I'm not as oily as I thought I would be because it already started off pretty dewy. I feel there's still okay coverage. My skin still looks evened out. I'm going to wear this for at least three more hours and then I will give you guys my final thoughts. You still look at the stars and wish for some I really love the look of the foundation. I like the colors. It does feel heavier, not super heavy, but heavier than some other drugstore foundations. I love the pump. I think it works really well. 
This shade is too dark for me, but I can't really speak on the shade range because this shade was for medium skin tones. Now, I did use the Find Your Shade on Ulta, and normally it works for me. That's how I find all my other foundations, but for this one, it didn't really work. A lot of people had issues with finding the correct shade, especially if they had deeper skin tones. So I would make sure to try to look at reviews and see if you can find somebody with a similar shade as you to try to find the right match. I did feel like this was very breathable. It was lightweight. It never felt heavy throughout the whole day. It, and it just felt like I didn't have that much makeup on today. I felt like you could use multiple layers and it was fine. I didn't have any issues with that. With using multiple layers though, it didn't really get more coverage it still stayed pretty light coverage even when i initially applied you could still see a lot of my acne scars and acne and just kind of like my skin but it gave enough coverage where it was able to even out my skin tone and cover up some stuff it like it didn't it doesn't it actually looks like i have makeup on but it's still light enough coverage where it looks like my skin at the same time it did get me oily but not extremely oily and i'm thinking that's because it was a lighter coverage foundation and just helped my skin breathe a little bit more overall this was a good foundation as a light coverage skin tint i personally wouldn't use this as my go-to foundation because when i do wear makeup i do like to have a lot more coverage to cover up the acne scars and the redness and all the other things with my face thank you guys so much for watching my review on makeup revolutions skin silk serum foundation if you want to follow me on all of my other social media i'm at jen reviews on facebook and on instagram and i'm at jen reviews underscore on tiktok if you're looking for a certain product that i've reviewed i do separate my playlist by brand so all you have to do is click on that brand and you can see all of the products that i reviewed from them thanks again for watching and i will see you guys next week bye do you think about what you're running from